Do you think that a synthesis of Marxism and, and anarchism, of, of the red and the black, so to speak, yes. would be fruitful for the left now? I think it would, yes. Yes, take the analysis of Marxism, of capitalism, and, and his call to action, his call for philosophers to change the world and, and not simply re record it, and, and take the anarchist idea of being suspicious of authority and centralized power and and uh, yeah I think that I think that blending of Marxist and anarchist ideas is something that is a good idea. I've read that you see the Paris Commune that um, experiment that happened short-lived mm. but in 1871 in Paris mm. That you see it as perhaps a model for what a, a future society might look like. I wonder if you could tell us a little bit about the Paris Commune and, and why you view it that way. Yeah, well, well, the Paris Commune was a, a situation in which, um, I guess, taking advantage of the fact that France and Germany were at war, and, and there was an opportunity for workers to seize the city of Paris and to take charge of the city and to set up a commune. Uh, they were called the communards and they, and they created a, a cooperative egalitarian society in Paris where people traded things and people, uh, and where uh, there's no crime really. The people had nothing to be, <laughs> to be criminal about. <laughs> no, there was, and where decisions were made by clusters of people gathering in the streets and, and then passing on their ideas to the, the members of the, sort of the leaders of the commune. But the leaders of the commune were people who didn't get a salary which was greater than an ordinary worker's salary. And uh, they, they created schools for women. There was no such thing as education for women at that time. And they uh, had free admission to the theater. They, um, yeah, they made things available to, to everybody on an egalitarian basis and they made decisions based on people getting together and talking and discussing. And, and it, was, it was an admirable society while it lasted and then it was crushed. But there have been other instances like that in history which are models in the sense that, well, they give us at least a glimpse of what is possible. You know, Barcelona in 1936, early months of the Spanish Civil War, as described by George Orwell in his book Homage to Catalonia. Again, people sharing things, uh, no crime, uh, and uh, What's interesting is in the Grapes of Wrath, which we were talking about before at the very end, Tom Joad, who certainly doesn't know anything about political theory, never read anything about any of these things, but he talks about how in the government camps that were set up to help migrant workers, that people helped one another. And he said, there are no cops keeping order. You know, and, and we had a better order than any cop could bring us, you know. And so I, th I think it's something that people, the kind of society people would welcome. How do you think fundamental change can come about? Do you think that for a thoroughgoing transformation of mm. society towards something like mm. the Paris Commune or, or mm. something else uh, very different than what we have now, do you think that it would require some sort of thoroughgoing revolution, or do you subscribe more to the notion that gradual change can come um, at, from building a new society within the shell of the old? No, I, no, I don't think uh, I don't think revolution in the old sense of seizing power of the capital. No, we've had enough experience with that to suggest that that's dangerous and corrupting. And yes, I think building institutions, it's a slower process, building free institutions within the old society and sort of liberating our, the ground one by one. 
you know, uh, liberating this institution and that institution, and you know, workers taking over industries, students taking over, and universities, uh, people in neighborhoods taking over the running of the, of the neighborhoods and, and and the security of the neighborhood. I think, yeah, I think it will come, not gradualism in the sense of, you know, <laughs> waiting too long, uh, but. Uh, but yes, uh, uh, working to liberate society piece by piece from within.